seven, We have a picture from Jose Escamilla today, as Jose has chosen as one of his uh, favorite images. Jose, why is this image one of your favorite image? Um, it's just amazing, you know, to see something like that on Mars. And the reason I brought it is because I, um, I opened a new Mars video. <laughs> On the film, the second Mars video, All right. I open it with this picture. So, All right. it's just an interesting uh, creature. I mean, it's definitely a creature, you know. It does look like one, yes. Insect type of thing, yeah. some kind of a deal. What 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 was your first thought when you saw it? I said, "Holy shit! Look at that." <laughs> <laughs> Like I usually say with most of the stuff that you guys are putting out, I go, Jesus, crime and... <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> yes, yes. Martina? Well, I, I mean, I think, I think that's incredible. Let's face it, insect or whatever it is, it's life on Mars. I mean, that, that's um, the reality of it. I, it. Is it looking at the camera? Is it something else looking at the camera? Is the head turned? It looks to me as if it is. Um, could be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another thing, I, I mean, you can see the legs on it. It's what? It's probably a six-legged creature. Yeah. Oh, possibly. But are those wings on its back? Um, can I stick my neck out here and, and wonder whether the thing flies? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, also, the. the there seems to be some kind of patterning on the back. Can you see? Mm -hmm. It's like sort of concentric circles or something on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's There's interesting. A yeah. There's um, a pattern on the back of it. It looks like a pattern, doesn't it? Now, um, yeah. I mean, the the ones I found have been upright, and you can see the segmented body, the thorax, you know, and and there's like three sections to it. Yeah. But um. It, it, it's great. I think it's uh, it's it's an awesome picture, Thomas. It is. That's pretty awesome. It, it's great. It's great. It was uh, for what what I know, Michael Ivy, who uploaded this one on Facebook. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So credit yeah. for this one to to Michael Ivy. Awesome. Yes. Neville, what what's your thoughts on on this one? It's the first time I've seen it. Actually, and I thought, bloody hell, what's that? And uh, I did actually. <laughs> Um, it, it actually looks as if there's something square underneath it, like it's heads like angled as if it's going to eat something out the out of the square. It's not square, but it's like oblong. Mm. You can see the the curvature of it under underneath it, but that's mm -hmm. it's really. Strangely, oh. it is. Ah. I, I wonder if it's got its mouth open. Look I at wonder, this. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at this, this. Check this out. This is, could be the top part and yeah. then this yeah. the lower part. You never See know. It? Yes. It looks like, it looks, like uh, it looks like its mouth is open, man. What yeah, a trick. Yeah. I can see you're, you're looking at it in a different way. It could yeah. be. It, 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 actually, Jose, I think that could be your other curve at the other side because if you look, if you look further right, you can see your curve at this side. Okay, where, you, you know where the first leg comes down. Yeah. Now, just before that, just before that, there's a curve, right? Now, if you look over the other side, it's the same type of curve. So it looks as if. It's 
the same on both side, both ends, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It yeah. could be... Uh, in, that's a trip. Yeah, mm. it, it could be in the background, it could be that, I don't know, but um, it's amazing, like, it is. Mm. But yeah. the thing is, the legs, the legs is... A square, aren't they? They're like, they, look, they look square, they look angled, you know? Yeah. Not yeah. like um, not like an animal, but it's it, it could be, I don't know, it could be like something made to look like an animal. It could, it, it, could, it could be a sculpture, it could be something made out of parts that have been lying about, because all the shapes here look as if they could be different. They don't look as if it as if the one part it looks as if it's made up of bits and pieces to me it could be i don't know that's that's my opinion anyway okay it, I, it, it, it could be an um a creature could be could be yeah yes thank you Neville. billy carson your thoughts on it yeah, I, when, when i disappear i mean you know scientists always say that no matter what happens there's always going to be roaches <laughs> and insects. <laughs> <laughs> Nuclear war, doesn't matter. Travel through space and cybernet and meteorite. It doesn't matter. You can't kill them. Uh, now, the interesting thing about this, this uh, insect-looking anomaly is directly to the, uh, I guess, the other side of it, the back side of it, there appears to me to be another type of an insectoid-type head laying on the ground. Um, with antennae and everything, uh, maybe you know we will darken that up a little bit and have a look at it. And then also directly behind it, I see another type of uh, what might be another insectoid type head behind it, uh, coming up right to the thorax area. So I don't know if this is a grouping of insects or if this is uh, you know old uh, you, know, uh, you know dead and decayed material. But the, the main one that's focused here, that, that obviously Michael Ivy, Ivy focused his, his uh, enhancement on, to me appears to be some type of an insect type of uh, anomaly uh, with legs, uh, head, you know, thorax, everything. It looks like an actual insect with a big eye. Um, and uh, I see him with the smaller head, not with the mouth opening up to the bottom. Uh, mm. because in the bottom part that might be the jaw would then now couldn't be legs and I don't know how it would hold itself up. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, but but it does to me appear to be an actual insect and, um, you know, it, the most amazing thing is, I mean, if there's supposedly not any life on Mars, I don't know why we're finding so many of these biological type shaped things. I mean, I know you can carve and sculpture anything, you know, if you want, even in today's society, you can make anything you want into a toy from a toy you can make. But there's just so much of this stuff that appears to be kind of biologically oriented. Um, this appears to be an actual insect. I, I, if I show this to anybody and don't tell them what planet it's on, they're going to say that looks like a bug, you know, so. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> true. Yeah. That Interesting. Might, that might be our tactic in, in the future, show it without saying where it's from and see what reaction we are getting. Yeah. I've, yeah. Done, I've done that before. Yeah, yeah. I sent an anomaly to a university professor, and I didn't tell him where, where, where it was, and it was a it was a hammer. And uh, he came back and said it was a hammer. He said, "By the way, where is this?" And I told him Mars. And he, I never heard from him again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I, I, I am sitting here and looking at this picture and I have to put this in my photo software because I have to point some, something out that I see just behind this animal uh, mm. creature. If you look at the head and, and go down the neck and just where the, what I am looking at as a shield begins, right behind there is, and this is where it becomes basic because we all look different I I in it and that's a good thing I have uh, that's a good thing about having uh, five different opinions on it but I see what looks like the top of something looking like Arto Ditos a round curve and some <laughs> round holes just above the, the, the shield of it and that was my first thought of it and if you're looking down beside it's just like you can see the bottom of this cylindrical uh, shaped object uh, uh, the one corner just underneath uh, 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 the neck uh, uh, and the shield here also uh, 
that was just something I was notice noticing, uh, and I have to put this in, in Photoshop now and, and give it some colors to it so so I can point it out. Um, <laughs> but this is an awesome image, and it, it it does to me really look like some kind of uh, animal in, in, in insect of of a kind. Uh, uh, Michael Ivy ha has done a great job on this one. Thank you, Michael, uh, for, for doing that. Uh, he's a great uh, anomaly hunter also. I've seen a lot of his posts in, in different groups. Insects, would I say, and uh, the little r 2 in, in the background uh, there. <laughs> uh, I, I'm nothing can shock me anymore and, and, and nothing can, can make me surprised uh, or make me wonder when people say they're seeing c 3 p o r 2 d 2 or Darth Vader or <laughs> whatever they see in the <laughs> pictures. I might not always agree and see it myself, but, but it cannot shock me anymore w when people are coming with, with uh, announcements like that. So. Uh, <laughs> this is a great uh, image. Uh, thank you, Jose, for bringing that, uh, bringing that one up. And I think this is a really good image to start a film with or a uh, 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 music. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, the music video. Music um, video. I just looked up the number, SOL zero one zero eight five. You know that whole number sequence. Yeah. yeah. And uh, nothing comes up on the Google images. Uh, we will find it for you and we'll post it in, in the group. No problem. Yeah, I, I'd like to see the full shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, we'll send it to you. Yeah. See what, okay, cool. Thanks. No problems. So, that was a, a great image. Thank you for sharing that one. Thank you, man. Well done. Lovely.